Back in 2014, I was doing some crypto mining, like a lot of other people. Uh, and in this video, I will just briefly explain uh, how you can try to find your old, old wallets uh, and how you most easily can uh, uh, extract any private keys so that you can move your old balance to a new, more modern wallet. Uh, or um, add your Dogecoin to your existing stash of Dogecoin. Hopefully this video is useful for somebody. Um, I spent a day uh, figuring out uh, how to do this and I was thinking that this was a little bit too complicated and a little bit too scary. So that's why I made this uh, brief video. First, uh, which wallet software you might have used uh, in 2014 to 2017? Uh, there are two different ones. If you look at dogecoin.com, there is uh, Dogecoin Core, which was used um, if you were doing mining like I was. And you had Multidoge, which was a much lighter uh, type of wallet. Uh, and these two had the different wallet files. I'll first, first show you how to uh, find the files on Linux, and then I will just briefly explain how we can do the same on Windows. Uh, on uh, 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 Dogecoin Core, uh, you would usually use the locate command if you are having an index of all the files in a, using the locate DB. And you can see here I have a wallet.dot file. Uh, if you just connect some old disk and you're running Linux, you can also use something like this command, which will just uh, search through a, a directory structure and then look for the file name wallet.dot. Uh, if you're using Multidoge, then there is a different file name. Uh, as you can see, um, Multidoge uses the file name multidoge.dot wallet. Uh, and you need to locate these old wallet files if you have any chance uh, to, to recover uh, your uh, balance. Uh, on Windows, you would basically have to navigate to the hard drive with uh, where you believe the wallet.dot file is, and then you can search for it, like this. Uh, and this will take a really long time, um, but hopefully you can find it. Uh, so. So if you were running a uh, Dogecoin core, uh, you could just reinstall uh, the Dogecoin client. Here you can see, even if you download it, you should be really sure that the URL is to dogecoin.com so that you don't download some kind of uh, fake uh, client. Uh, you can install it. Uh, and it's pretty fast. Uh, the big problem is that uh, if you're using Dogecoin Core, it will actually try to download the entire blockchain, uh, which, uh, as you can see on the next step here. Uh, oh, here. This will take basically forever to download. It's something like 100 gigabytes, I guess, uh, these days. And you need uh, a lot of disk space uh, to download the file. Uh, the interesting thing here is that you should uh, make sure where the wallet is located. You can see here it's located in my app data backslash roaming uh, Dogecoin. And here is the wallet.dot file. Uh, so if I now uh, stop the Dogecoin client, uh, I can uh, basically uh, copy this wallet.dot file somewhere and I can replace it with my old one. Uh, and then I can get uh, uh, an overview of what the client thinks that the, the balance is. So here is uh, the um, uh, startup screen of the Dogecoin core. And as you can see down here, it's saying that I'm seven years and 19 weeks behind. And it started to synchronizing the headers. Uh, and it will, this will basically take uh, forever. And so I just copied in my uh, wallet.dot.file into the, the folder. So it doesn't know anything about my recent transactions or about my balances. Uh, and it won't uh, update, uh, as you can see here, uh, the displayed information may be out of date. Your wallet automatically synchronizes with the Dogecoin network after a connection is established. Uh, and but this process has not completed it. And I think this will take quite a long time to do. Uh, but, uh, and but before that, you can actually use uh, help and use the debug window. And you have the console here. And then you can write uh, commands and on Linux, you would say something like TMP uh, to, to dump your entire wallet to a file. Uh, on on uh, Windows, you might say, uh, yeah, I don't know. It would just answer back with null. 
and once you have done this, you have exported your uh, your uh, key file uh, uh, to a normal key that you can read. So here is an example uh, of such a file. Uh, I've added some X's because uh, uh, just to make it a little bit more obfuscated. Uh, the first column here is the, the private key. Then you have the date when the, uh, the, oh, the key was created. And then you have the public address uh, of the, uh, the private key. And you can use these public keys to look up the, the balance. As you can see here, there are a diff couple of different types uh, of uh, uh, keys. The ones with uh, uh, reserve, I think, has to do with uh, mining. Uh, and then you have some without any type at all. And this one with the word change have been used for some kind of transaction. Uh, but what you can do is you can look up all the uh, all the different public keys and you can find the, the, um, the balance for each key. To do this, you need to go to dogechain.info here. And you can then take uh, a public key. Uh, I can take one I like this one, paste it in here. And we say that oh, there is no balance here. Uh, but let's take this one. Okay, uh, 178 Duga. So this is uh, uh, somewhere I, I did some experimenting with. Uh, and um, as you can see, there might be a hundred different keys here. And you could try each and every key, and you could just look for the one with the type change. Uh, just remember that this is a public part. It's not uh, dangerous to share it. But this part for here, if somebody gets access to this uh, private key, then they can basically empty your account. Uh, so once you have the, um, uh, the private key, it is possible to import this key into some other uh, type of software. Uh, but first, I'll just show uh, briefly how to do the same with Multidoga, so you can see how you uh, extract the key from that as well. Uh, if you're using if you are using Multidoga, uh, then you need to uh, start the Multidoga Java application. Uh, on Linux, you would do something like this. Uh, on Windows, you need to download the uh, Java uh, runtime environment, and then you get the uh, Multidoga user interface. And it's trying to connect and synchronize with the network. I, in my experimentation, I never got it to uh, to properly synchronize, so I, I don't know. But you can export your private keys, uh, and then you can have a, a file here where you could uh, can get the uh, information about the public and the private keys. And all you all you need to uh, get access to this balance is uh, the private key, which is uh, uh, hidden here. Uh, to do this, it's just a very simple uh, thing you need to do. Uh, you can go to the Dogechain uh, Blockchain Explorer here, and they have an uh, online Dogecoin wallet. Uh, so you can just create a new wallet here. Uh, the big issue with doing this, by the way, is that you trust the provider of the website uh, with your Dogecoin, which probably is fine. It, it went fine when I did this a couple of days ago, but uh, it uh, you should be aware that if you create a wallet on a website, that website might ac might actually get access to all your uh, all your Dogecoin. So you have to trust them. So once you have logged into the Dogechain website, uh, remember that this should be the URL. Uh, then uh, you can actually import your old um, uh, private key. So as you can see here, then you just take uh, this first column. I won't show this, but uh, quite. But you go in here. Import a private key. This one is invalid because it's secret. But uh, once you have imported it, uh, you can actually just click refresh. Click refresh, and then you can see that you have 178, 179 uh, Doge connected to your uh, Dogecoin uh, account. So the next step is uh, I, I don't really trust having uh, Dogecoin in uh, a wallet like this. Uh, so uh, what I did was to move it to a, a bigger um, cryptocurrency um, trading platform, uh, make an account on Binance.com, which seems to be the biggest website for trading Dogecoin right now. Uh, so after you have logged into this website, uh, you can go to Wallet, uh, Fiat and Spot here. 
and then you can uh, search for the uh, Dogecoin and you can uh, say deposit so as you can see here uh, 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 I, I don't have any Dogecoin from before but I have a public address and this is a public address on the wallet that I have on Binance so if I, I take this uh, address I go back to the here and then I can send myself the uh, the Dogecoin uh, on on the um, from the Doge chain website. So I have a hundred and seventy nine dot eighty. Send money. After a few minutes, the Doge coin is transferred. Will show up on your Binance uh, account as part of your uh, balance there. I hope this video was uh, useful for somebody. Uh, I made a referral code for Binance, which gives you 10% off uh, your transfers. So please use it, it, it it's in the description. Uh, if you use it, uh, you will get 10% lower fees and I will also get a really tiny uh, bonus from uh, people actually using the service.